Many of you are noticing higher prices as you start looking for school supplies for the upcoming school year. So why is that, Tracy? Yeah, well, we're going to find out. CBS 46's Rebecca Schramm has the story, and it is a painful lesson in economics. It's a matter of supply and demand, and right now, the supply chain is the issue, leaving even discount retailers like Walmart with no choice but to jack up their prices. Starting to gather your school supply list? Get ready for a bit of sticker shock. It's kind of crazy just to see how the price has gone up so exponentially. Industry experts say part of the reason for the price jump is that when COVID shut down the country, the supply chain was also put on hold and retailers are still trying to get back to normal while dealing with a much higher cost of transporting goods. The National Retail Federation expects consumers to spend $37.1 billion in back to school supplies this year. That's up by more than $3 billion dollars from last year. With two boys, Erica Tice is getting creative to save money. We use a lot of stuff from last year, recycle stuff. They're going to have mismatched pencils and mismatched bags and stuff, but it works. So how much will parents spend on average for back to school shopping? Get this, an average of $848 per child. That is up 59 bucks from last year. And yes, electronics are included in that estimate. In DeKalb County, Rebecca Schramm, CBS 46 News. Now, raising children gets more expensive every day. Here's a little way to help, though. If you join CBS 46 and our friends at iHeartRadio for the Power 96.1 Back to School Bash, it is this Sunday from noon until 3 at Bad Daddy's Burger Bar in Smyrna. The first 96 people will get a backpack full of school supplies. One lucky winner will even win $1,500 in a shopping spree, so you want to make sure you head out to that.